Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. I would like to enlighten you on AMC. So yesterday we had earnings, and I'm sure you've all seen the earnings videos. They were in abundance. They were phenomenal earnings, generating $2.7 billion in revenue. We had said correctly. In addition, Adam Aaron mentioned on the call that July 2018 was the highest revenue-generating month in AMC's 100-year history. So that's fantastic. Positive earnings per share, one cent per share, were generated. This is the first occasion we've had positive earnings since 2020 or 2019, respectively. Consequently, the rumored capital burn has ended as of the beginning of Q2 at this time. We are not wasting money. Currently, AMC is accumulating capital. So that's fantastic. Therefore, I will also discuss the reverse stock split. Adam Aaron is requested to resign the reverse stock split. And I know he won't because he signed over his power to Antara Capital in the 8 deal, so he has no authority to do so. I made a 20-minute video on the subject, so he couldn't stop the SEAs even if he wanted to. It was stipulated in the contract and apes transaction. Therefore, I am requesting that he cancel the event in order to exert pressure on him. And the reason is that no company performs a reverse stock split voluntarily. They must be compelled to do it due to non-compliance. At $5 per share, AMC will not be in a non-compliant situation. They will never be less than a dollar. Therefore, I am requesting that he cancel both that and the DMC conversion. If he doesn't do it himself, which I know he won't, then I will. It depends on Judge Zern. Really. It is a fact that preferred shares cannot be voted with common shares, so it is hoped that Judge Zern will permanently dismiss this case and rule accordingly. It is the law. It cannot do so. Therefore, Adam Aaron engaged in that deceitful behavior. Companions, use common sense. If Adam Aaron did nothing wrong, why would he be so anxious to reach a settlement and give away $100 million in AMC stock? Why? He did not. Would you give your money away if you had done nothing wrong? Or would you choose to battle and win? That is my opinion. If you did nothing illegal, you would probably fight and prevail, wouldn't you? Adam Aaron's initial response to the lawsuit was, we did nothing wrong. It will be promptly dismissed. It was not rejected. And immediately he attempted to reach a settlement. I've since changed my mind. Here are $100 million value of shares. Please do not sue us any longer. Let's work out an agreement. Because he is aware that the aide was fraudulently elected. The vote was manipulated. Um, and many things are being revealed. He attempted to portray AMC as insolvent when they are not. In addition, Adam Aaron released that falsified letter after AMC stock doubled. Do you recall that, gentlemen? Sunday evening? That Sunday evening seemed like two weeks ago, and the following day AMC stock plummeted due to his inundation letter. It's been four years. Our highest profits over the past four years. Not a single tweet from Adam Aaron regarding our incredible earnings report. What does that indicate? I am aware that many of us wish to like Adam Aaron but cannot. Why does he continue to harm us? Over and over again. And again and again. Okay, so if he helped us, we might have a different perspective. However, everything he does is intended to harm us and cause us to collapse. Ank shares. Therefore, we are informed. We are aware of what is occurring. Click the subscribe and like buttons. Send the video to your friend. No decision has been made by the court as of yet. That's excellent news. They won't be able to suppress AMC for much longer. I am aware it is down today. Um, two days in a succession. Essentially immediately after the outstanding earnings report, which says a lot about our stock market, right? Maintain a careful watch on AMC. We will observe what transpires. We are not free of this situation. We will contend for our brief squeeze. Squeeze. Right. Friends, we will speak soon. Have a wonderful day.